College Trivets fan going live on YouTube, streaming live on YouTube. This is rotation four, five, six of the meet. And this is my last gymnastics video for the weekend. Was the best for Lloyd and Mary in that rotation for the all arounder, the sophomore out of Rhode Island. So Zane Petrus set to lead off rotation four for Lloyd and Mary on the rings. Good start on rings for Zane Petras, who didn't even make the team as a freshman for William and Mary, but came back as a sophomore and made it. And uh, a big time inspiration being in this event. Fourth try. Evan Manavon leads him off on high bar for the Illini. Going well on high bar. He is known for his vault and his floor routine. But a good start leading it off on the high bar for the Illini for Evan Manavon, the sophomore out of Kansas City. Chuck, second on the rings, following up Zane Petrus, laying out the score for Petrus. Give you a little background on, on Petrus as we wait for his score. It looks like it'll be in the 13s. Still waiting on uh, the final declaration from the judge, but Petrus didn't make the team as a freshman, decided to come back as, as a sophomore and made it made huge strides, and he just scored a 13-2 at a championship event. They flashed his score. So a good beginning for William and Mary on the rings. Now it's Kuzminchuk. Chuck in his second and final event of the day here. Also competes on high bar. And he closes it out. Alec Kuzminchuk, the freshman from Maryland. Still working on getting stronger. Doesn't have super strength yet, but the coaching staff feels like he will. And he's gotten really good at the end of the year. And he closes out his final event of the day on the rings where he scored a, a season high of 13 1 at the conference game.
So it's Josh Cook for the Illini on the high bar. And nearly stuck the landing. Josh Cook, just his third, just his third high bar of the season, and only competed in this event in the last two meets and put out a season best. 12-9-5, the Big Ten Championships. Our first look today at Amir Postel. out of Virginia Beach. Stella has consistently been in the high 12s in this event, scored a 12-9-5 against Navy back in February. Postel with the, the fall at the end of it. So the freshman in her, his first championship event. Been in the lineup all year long for William and Mary. See the, the body makeup, super small, super strong. And then described as super small, super strong, but super, super chill. He's the guy that relaxes that William and Mary corral. And he's through his rings routine. Go so back over to the high bar for the line eye, Logan Myers. Being set to be the third of line eye on the high bar. Best of the year at the Big Ten Championships on the high bar for Logan Myers, 13-1. That was his first time this season cracking a score above 13. Put up for his teammate Josh Cook, 12 5 6. Logan Myers couldn't stick the landing, ran out of the screen there. Logan Myers closing out his high bar routine. That it typically brings the energy for the Illini, typically dancing after his routine, but you can see the frustration from him after the end of that high bar routine. Back over the rings for William and Mary. This is Andrew Dubosky, the all-arounder again. Lower start to the year on rings for Lubowski. Last five, he's gone 12, eight or higher. And he sticks the landing on rings here. Andrew Lubowski. And 
his third year in the program. He's a junior, but he's graduating after this year, and they're going to miss Andrew Zabowski, high performer in the all-arounds. His all-arounds scored the conference championship meet. His second best of the year scored a 77-2. The all-arounder for Illinois, Michael Fletcher, is ready to gear up on the high bar here. This was the, the lowest score of all his events at the Big Ten Championships. But his best score of the year came right here in Minneapolis at the end of 1905 against Minnesota. In a conference dual meet a couple of weeks ago. Good to, good to see Fletcher back. He, he tore his ACL, injured all of last season, and now here he is, the only all-arounder for Illinois today in this session one. Score pops up there for Logan Myers, went 12-12. Might have been on his way to a, a high 13 number with a dismount. Now it's Michael Fletcher. Fletcher on the high bar, the junior from New Hampshire. The fourth up for the Illini, Hamish Carter will follow him to anchor it. Back over on the rings with William and Mary, with Christian Marsh. See the celebration for his teammates. First time this year that he throws out a triple back dismount and it just about stuck it. Hugs all around in the corral for William and Mary, for Christian Marsh with a terrific performance on rings. He's hugging every single guy over there. Went 13 5 at the conference meet and may have just bested that. Didn't see the whole routine, but based on that reaction and that dismount, that was terrific on the back end for Christian Marsh. So Willie and Mary with, uh, with some, some good bounce back energy there on the, the rings after a rough showing on Pommel Horse trying to in. Remember the, the top. Three teams in this six-session meet will move on to Saturday uh, at 8 Eastern, 7 Central on Big Ten Network. Top six teams will compete for the national championship. But through three rotations, William and Mary playing from behind. Took themselves a bit of a hole after Pommel Horse. But maybe back up after rings. Illinois entered the rotation. Leading Nebraska by one. Carter to close down the high bars for Illinois, waiting on the score for Michael Fletcher. Again, even for teams that don't get in, every routine counts because the top three on uh, each event that aren't on one of the teams that qualify will move on to Saturday. 
and will compete unattached. They compete for an individual championship. The top three on each event in each session. Um, the teams that don't qualify as one of the top three teams in the session. Here's Aiden Coy on the rings. Christian Marsh, Aiden Floyd, trying to keep it going for William and Mary. Scored an 11 7 5 the conference meet. And Aiden Floyd sticks the landing on the rings. So Aiden Floyd, the all arounder, who's, uh, who's been dubbed Mr. Automatic for this William and Mary team. Quiet guy, strong leader, but talking to Bo Morris, the assistant yesterday, he used the word automatic five or six times. And good hand for Aiden Coy in the corral for William & Mary after that routine. Here's Hamish Carter. Michael Fletcher giving a, a 12-1-3 just before him for Illinois. injury was held out precautionary measure the last three events and competing today on high bar parallel bar and pommel horse Amos Carter closes out his high bar routine for Illinois did compete in the, the Big Ten, he probably would have been the, the second highest finisher for the Illini has competed in all around this year. But again today, coming back from the neck injury, Hamish Carter with just three events, including the high bar here, the parallel bar. We saw him earlier, and you see him on the pommel horse coming up. So for Illinois, William and Mary, that wraps up rotation four. Two more rotations to go. As Navy closes out on parallel bar, we'll get to the, the team scores coming up right after this, as well as the individual scores, each of the individual scores from rotation four here in Minneapolis. Updated team scores through four rotations here in session one. Oklahoma has taken the lead. Top three teams get into tomorrow's event. Seven Central, eight Eastern on Big Ten Network. Top six teams overall. Top three teams in each session with session two coming up later tonight. Right where you're watching here on BTN Plus and on NCAA.com. But team standings here in session one. Oklahoma leads with a, a 273.2 mark. Nebraska in second at 272, uh, 270.2. Ohio State in third at 267.9. And then Illinois went into rotation three leading by a point. They now trail uh, four tenths of a point back of the cut to get into Saturday's event. Ohio State at 267.9, 267.5 for Illinois right now. And then Navy at 258.5 and Willie DeMary at 243.9 with work to do to get into that top three heading into tomorrow. Sam Metzler, competing unattached out of Air Force, starts rotation five on floor.
Wexler competing close to home here in Minneapolis. He's from about an hour south of River Falls. The high school in River Falls is from Hudson, Wisconsin. He did from Mini Hops Gymnastics, based out of Minneapolis. Sam Metzler of Air Force, leading off rotation five on the floor. Metzler, a sophomore, the guy we expect to see back in this NCAA event for a couple more years coming. For the vault for William & Mary, Ian Creelman starts it for the tribe. Ian Creelman on the vault, coming off of 14-2 at the conference meet. And a good bounce back. Season best came right after his season low, and he's been in the 14s three times this year. And that is the, the best event for William and Mary, that and four. So here in rotation five, William and Mary competing at a, a strong point. We're in the 70s as a team at their conference meet. Max Diab, the senior from Glen Ellen, Illinois. Starting Illinois on the floor. Starting for Illinois on the floor. with his score at the Big Ten Championships, scored a Diab on the floor for Illinois. Leads with his efforts. The, the Diab name, big in men's gymnastics. Brother Alex graduated from Illinois in 2019, a two-time rings national champ. And Dad Mark was a big deal with Iowa in the 80s. Beating from 1981 to 1986 for the Hawkeyes in men's gymnastics. Back over to the vault. This is Jordan Kula for William and Mary. Jordan Kula, very similar to the, the story of Zane Petrus, tried to walk out of the team his freshman year, didn't make it, came back as a sophomore and made it. And one other wrinkle of that to get him to this moment today, he tore his Achilles right after he made the team. But he's, he's come in this year as a senior and has really solidified this event for William & Mary, which is their best as a team. Back over to the floor for the Illini with Evan Manabal. His second best event it is the floor exercise out of the three he competes on.
this must be rotation five, because in the last and rotation, the Ohio the State was on four. Second up for Illinois. Again, that's his second best event on the year. 14-3 is best score against uh, Michigan and Nebraska in the tri meet. And he follows up Max Diaz's floor exercise. Back to the vault with Colin Lilly from William and Mary. So Colin Lilly, the third, the third up for William and Mary, who's battled ankle and knee injuries all year long and gets a shot to compete in the NCAAs today and is third up on vault. Coming off his best 14-1-5 at the conference meet, but another 14 against Springfield. Set season best in both his events at the conference meet, both on floor and on the ball. Michael Fletcher coming up on the floor. Consistently in the high 13s with his scoring at a 14 against Penn State. And the all-arounder for the Illini here in rotation five. Scores posted for Illinois on this event. Fletcher going third after Diab went 14 1 and Manavong went 13 9 6. Fifth event of the day, the all-arounder. And Fletcher closes out the third floor routine for Illinois. Trying to sneak in, came into this rotation in fourth place. Top three get into Saturday's event. And they were four tenths back of the top three heading into this rotation. So two good routines by Diab and Manavong. And We'll check on Fletcher's score here in a bit. Back over the vault with William and Mary. <laughs> Sam Lee takes a fall on the dismount for William and Mary, the, the rookie of the year in the ECA, ECACs. Tumbled after trying to stick the landing on the vault. Pretty clean for William and Mary to that point on the ball. Colin Lilly went into the 14, the highest score of the day for William and Mary. Jordan Kula went 13-7. And Ian Creelman led it off with 13-8. This is Josh Cook coming up on the floor for Illinois. Finished in the top 10 in the Big Ten. And the floor exercise went 14.25 in the conference meet. And Illinois finished second out of the seven teams as a team on the floor. Connor McCool finished number two. He's coming up here in a bit. Competitor, mostly uh, four event competitor this year. It's by far his best event. Josh 
Cook from Bernard Wales, the sophomore for the Illini. He's the fourth to go on floor. So Illinois will finish with their top two. Josh Cook, ninth of the Big Tens. Connor McCool is coming up. For Illinois, a, a hopeful to try to surpass Ohio State, Nebraska, or Oklahoma. The, the three teams ranked higher than them in the qualifying scores coming into this event. You've got to be in the top three of this six-team session one to move on to Saturday. National Championship. We'll continue with the top six teams from today on Big Ten Network at 7 Central, 8 Eastern. Back to the vault with William and Marion, all-arounder Aiden Coy. Aiden Coy, the, the vault has been the, the strongest event for him as it has been for the team. And three straight with 13.6. He's got some competition today. That's that's his best score on the season. And he's got a, a couple of guys ahead of him from William and Mary, who's shown strong on the, the vault so far. Billy, Colin Billy got to 14, Jordan Kula 13.7, Ian Grillman 13.8. And here's Connor McCool on the floor for Illinois. Second of the Big Ten on floor. This was the Illini's second strongest event. Scored 76-5-0 as a team. Only better on the vault. That's in large part to this guy, Connor McCool. So Connor McCool, who built up his best scores late in the season. Anchoring Illinois here at the NCAAs. And after Josh Cook got it started, see the score roll in from Connor McCool here to close out rotation five for Illinois. Where they head on to the Pomodors. So final vault for Andrew Lubowski. Willie and Mary closing out rotation five with their all-arounder, Andrew Lubowski. And we'll get you the, the rolling score for William and Mary once Lubowski's score rolls in. What we do know, Aiden Coy went 13-7, Sam Lee went 11.2, Colin Lilly 14.033. Jordan Kula 13.766. Then Ian Creelman, 13-8-6-6. This is Navy over on the high bar. And once we get their final score, we'll have updated scores after rotation five. So we'll head into the final rotation. Illinois was four-tenths of a point out of the top three. We're facing Ohio State, Nebraska, and Oklahoma. And once we get those final couple of scores, we will uh, we'll have the updated counts for you. Andrew Dubowski's score did just come in for William & Mary. That was a 13-3-3-3, uh, despite the fall at the end of the vault for Andrew Dubowski. And for Illinois on the floor, their final scores are in. They went 69 as a team. They went 69-4 as a team. And uh, at the Big Ten Championships, they were slightly higher than that. Finished second in the Big Ten with a, a score of 70.650. So a, a, a little bit of a, a step back today for Illinois on the floor, but still steady with all their scores. Connor McCool went 13.966. Evan Manabong with the same exact score at 13.966. Michael Fletcher at 13.7. Max Diab led it off with the best score for Illinois on the floor with 14.1. 
And then it was Josh Cook with a 13 7 6 6. So the, the parallel bars and the high bars, Oklahoma and Navy still wrapping up in rotation five. And then we'll, uh, we'll reset each of the scores for you for Illinois to this point. Uh, they were. They've been on rings, vault, parallel bars, and high bars so far, so they'll finish out on, on pommel horse. Joel Diaz on rings went 13-4. Michael Fletcher went 13-6. Danny Graham, 13-7. Jordan Kobach, 13-3. And uh, Logan Myers, 13-2. On the vault, the, the best event for the Illini, a bunch of good scorers on there. Uh, four of their five went 14-plus. Hamish Carter went 13-6. Then Max Diab went 14.2. Michael Fletcher with a, a great score, a, a season high of 14.8. And Evan Manavong, 14.7. And Connor McCool, 14.2. And Logan Myers went 14.06. On the parallel bars for Illinois, Hamish Carter went 13.4. Michael Fletcher went 13.8. Jordan Kovac scored a 13.3. Tommy Mistretta went 11. 0.466 and Logan Myers 13.266. Oklahoma Navy still wrapping up. This is Matt Winsky for Oklahoma on the parallel bars. Still two more routines on the high bar to get through the Navy. As uh, William and Mary, Nebraska, Ohio State, Illinois have already wrapped up rotation five. Give you some of the scores for Illinois for, uh, for William and Mary. Some of those scores still rolling in. And, uh, being updated, so we'll get you their, their rolling score, where they stand, and some of the competitors that uh, will be eligible if William & Mary doesn't advance as a team on the Saturday's event. Remember, top three teams get in, but then the top three individuals on each event that are not on one of the qualifying teams will also advance to Saturday. So Oklahoma Navy just wrapped up this rotation and we will step aside from Minneapolis and get you those rolling scores from William and Mary and Illinois and updated standings right after this from the NCAA championships. So final rotation of the day for William and Mary and Illinois will uh, put Illinois on the pommel horse and the parallel bars <laughs> for William and Mary. Updated standings heading into this final rotation. Oklahoma is on top right now at uh, a 339.4. University of Nebraska at 337.1. And then Illinois at 337.1. They are uh, they're a couple hundredths of a point behind Nebraska right now. Illinois is in the top three right now. Ohio State is trailing 
by uh, seven points. So Illinois and Ohio State fighting for that last spot, as well as Nebraska, with the top three teams getting into Saturday's event. Navy at 322, and then William & Mary at 310, currently in sixth. Uh, this first session that has six teams with six more teams upcoming tonight. We'll be streaming right here on NCAA.com and on Big Ten Network Plus. And uh, that'll be Michigan, Stanford, Penn State, Iowa, Minnesota, and California. Now, Illinois with Tyler Schmidt starting it on Pommel Horse. Last year only competed in one meet total, and now has become a pommel horse specialist as a sophomore. And he's a it leads him off, leads him off with the parallel bar routine. And Ian Creelman gets it going for William and Mary in their final. Muehlhauser, second for the Illini on a pommel horse. Just the second men's gymnast ever from the state of Hawaii to compete Division One gymnastics. And he's made a big jump from early in the season. His first pommel horse was an 8-7. And improved five points by the final meet of the Big Ten Championships. And a clean routine there. Here's Aiden Coy. Or from Warwick, Rhode Island. They call Mr. Automatic. Four class for Ian Creelman. And they gave him an 11 7 6 6. Execution of 7266. Ian Creelman on the parallel bars, uh, about a point shy of his season best. And now it's Aiden Coy. Boy, two of the last three beats, he's scored in the 13s, had it done that prior to the final month of the season. And he gave a little flex to the corral for William and Mary after that parallel bar routine. So two through in the final rotation. Now the Illini back in the pommel horse with Tommy Mistretta. of his college career. The Illini fighting for those top three positions. And Mastretta, who competed only on the pommel horse, the Big Tens, closes out this final rotation, setting it up for Hamish Carter. So Tyler Schmidt started it for the Illini with a 12.5, then Emmanuel Muehlhauser went 13.033, leading on the score for Tommy Mastretta. William Mary, Ian Creelman, 11-7, Aiden Coy, 12.66. The execution score of 8.5 for Aiden Coy. After Tommy Mastretta receives his score, it'll be Amos Carter, the, the junior from the UK. Had the, the neck injury before this. Coming back today, competing in, in, in three events. Got some advice from his dad. I'll tell you about that after this routine for William and Mary. 
Sam Lee, the conference's rookie of the year. Sam Lee, the promising freshman, closing out the sixth rotation on parallel bars. Freshman from Superior, Colorado. Here's Hamish Carter. Got advice from his dad. Dad, dad saying persistent. 152 out of 207. Ohio State is Carter finishing up on the rings. Coming back from that injury today for the Great Britain Olympic trials this summer. Carter, the junior back from injury today for Illinois, closing out on pommel boards. We're hoping that their season as a team continues into tomorrow. There were tenths of a point is what they trailed by heading into the last rotation and entered this final rotation clear of the, the top three spot by a couple tenths of a point. Christian Marsh on the parallel bars. And that electric performance of the triple back dismount of the rings earlier. Marsh on the, the dismount. Not as pleased as he was in the rings. And his teammates there to greet him after his parallel bars routine. It was his best event heading into this championship. 13-5 the conference beat. And that is for momentarily. Here's Ian Skirky. The Pommel War Specialist just competed in this event. Big Ten Championships with an All-American in the 2019-2020 season on the final board. Two, the highest score of the day for the Illini. Tyler Schmidt. They'll be trying to up them. Coaches, athletes, Skirky, all pleased with it. As they greet him in the corral after that bottle horse routine for Ian Skirky. Back over to the parallel bars. Final routine of the day here in rotation six. Andrew Lubosky. Potentially trying to qualify into tomorrow as an individual as well. 
Again, third year athlete, but he will graduate. Came into William and Mary with 60 plus college credit hours. And will go on to graduate with a degree in computer science and neuroscience. Done a great job as a all arounder for William and Mary this year. First the weight of the score for Christian Mark. just came in for Ian Skirky and it was indeed the highest score for Illinois and the Pommel Horse so far went 14.066 a big boost for Illinois and their hopes of being in the top three score still trickling in from the other five teams but Illinois sitting in a good spot after that Ian Skirky Pommel Horse routine to get into tomorrow's event Michael Fletcher finally going to Pommel Horse for Illinois. Finally trying to return after they were into the Saturday meet in 2019 when they hosted. So Fletcher closes it out. That'll be the final routine of the day for Illinois, and now they await their fate. The Fletcher score will be what their rolling score will be, and will they be in the Saturday as one of the top three teams? Looking like it's coming down to Ohio State, Nebraska, Illinois. That was the, the back end of the Bosky routine on the parallel bars. And that ends rotation six for William and Marion. Hugs all around for the Bosky. Move on and graduate right after this. Coming up in May. Yeah, big time brain power with neuroscience and computer science. And yeah, we'll see if some of his scores are good enough to get him on to tomorrow. Still waiting on final tallies. Navy still closing out on four. Oklahoma on the high bar. Still going through their final two routines as well. David Toussaint for Navy, the anchor on the floor. A little bit chipping. Freeman for Oklahoma. They have, they have two more teams to get through. Ron Rings, Ohio State. Still has Jesse Tingle, the early anchor for the Buckeyes, who's put together one of the good all around scores today. score just came in from Michael Fletcher for Illinois. He was at a 12.7 on the pommel horse for Illinois. Still don't know what it means yet with other scores coming in, but looking like it's a, a four-team battle for the three spots. Navy and William and Mary were behind quite a bit heading into this last rotation. Ohio State still has two routines to get through with their scores, and so does Oklahoma. So Nebraska and Illinois just sitting, watching, seeing what Oklahoma and Ohio State do. We'll have 
final scores coming up here in a moment. And a reminder tonight that the second se second session will come up. Michigan, Stanford, they were two and three with the qualifying scores. They'll be in action tonight. Penn State and Iowa were three and four with the, the qualifying scores in that second session. And the host, Minnesota, and Cal will, uh, will also be on display later on tonight. This is Jesse Tyndall for Ohio State on rings. This is of great interest to Illinois. See some of the guys over on their side looking on at Jesse Tyndall. Could that be the routine that makes or breaks it by a couple of tenths of a point on whether it's Ohio State or Illinois moving on to Saturday? Could be. Well, hundreds of a point separating Illinois and Nebraska heading into the last rotation. With Kendall's routine now done on rings, Ohio State is done. Now one final high bar routine for Oklahoma. Right now, Michael Fletcher is, is leading in the all-around. Kendall score could make it or break it on whether or not the Illini go as a team. Kindle went into that final rings routine for Ohio State, trailing Fletcher by 12.1. If you can do 12.1 or better on the rings, he'll surpass Fletcher as the best all around three through six rotations. And now Fletcher on top at 80.7. Fletcher's best all-around score of the year for Illinois. Looked in a big way by Fletcher's ball. Best in this meet right now. Fletcher's 14.8. So even if Illinois is not in the top three, Fletcher will compete tomorrow, and Evan Manavong might join him as well. He had third best ball today. Fletcher will probably be there tomorrow one way or another on the parallel bars, which is the top score in this session. And Ian Skirky put the best pommel horse out there today of any competitor. So the Illini have a lot going individually, but we're going to find out if it's going to be enough. Oklahoma just closed out their final rotation on the high bar, and Jesse Tindall did go 13.033 on the rings. So he will have the best all around score. Does that job Michael Fletcher by one. So total team scores coming in after Oklahoma's final team scores are handled. And we remind you to uh, to watch tonight as uh, session two is coming up at uh, seven o'clock central, eight o'clock Eastern on BTF Plus and uh, on NCAA. Com. Oklahoma, Nebraska, Ohio State, Illinois, Navy, and William and Mary here. And then Michigan, Stanford, Penn State, and Iowa coming up tonight with uh, Minnesota and Cal also competing. Final scores have come in with the final tally for Oklahoma on a high bar. 
and Illinois will advance by scoring a 400.7 as a team today. Nebraska and Oklahoma at the top, one and two, 408, and Oklahoma 406. And Illinois with the 400. Looks like it'll be good enough to move on to Saturday. Ohio State, 30, uh, 394.9, 390 for Navy, and then William and Mary finishes sixth with a 371.2. So that wraps up session one for Minneapolis here at Missouri Pavilion. Thank you for watching here on BTM Plus and NCAA.com. Again, a reminder tonight, Michigan, Stanford, Penn State, Iowa, Minnesota, and California coming up in session two. Three more teams will punch their ticket into Saturday for the NCAA Finals, which will air on Big Ten Network at 7 Central, 8 Eastern from Minneapolis. Thanks for watching. This has been session one for Minneapolis. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody that watched. Um, and I am going to put post the men's NCAA session two where Michigan and California and all those other teams were on it I'll post that session two another time well I posted two women's gymnastics meets today and one men's gymnastics meet my goal was to post three gymnastics meets so I met that goal and if my phone battery was so low that it turned off uh, during the upload, then I would just get the other phone that was like fully charged or close to fully charged and continue the meet. And, it, and I just paused the meet on the app and then continued. But, but Iowa and Stanford and... Michigan are going to be in the second session, as well as California.